we always use the afterburner for takeoff. Uh, we use the afterburner for takeoff on all the aeroplanes, all the MiG uh, variants in India, other than the MiG-29. So uh, MiG-29 also we, we've used with the afterburner, not a problem, because with the afterburner on a MiG-29, you can do a takeoff on, uh, you could do in a loop on takeoff, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the power. Anyhow, so you take off on, a, uh, on the MiG-25 with the afterburner, and you don't, don't come off the afterburner until you come in for a landing. Wow. The entire mission is flown with afterburner from the time you take off. Wow. You climb out and to give you uh, uh, a sort of a, uh, uh, an idea of the sheer power of the airplane, if I had to take off and if I had to do a reciprocal turn, if I'm going to a mission somewhere that side, uh, by the time I turn around and, uh, and I come back in line with the point where I took off from, the landing dumbbell, mm -hmm. I'm crossing uh, 10 kilometers of height and a speed of 1.1 mark. <laughs> That's 30,000 feet and 1.1 mark by the time I've raised yeah. my wheels, perhaps accelerated a little bit, commenced the turn and reached here. I'm crossing 30,000 feet, 10 kilometers, 1.1 and accelerating. Uh, at around 18 kilometers or so, we would come back from the max afterburner to min afterburner, minimum. Because if you didn't come back, she was crossing 20 kilometers if you kept it on. Uh, Again, as a relationship uh, example, a MiG-21 best rate of climb at sea level was 110 to 130 meters per second mm -hmm. for a MiG-21. The MiG-25 in rarefied an atmosphere of 20 kilometers of height, 70,000 feet, was crossing 20 kilometers at 100 meters per second. Mm -hmm. Same as the MiG-21 at sea level, mm. she's crossing 20 kilometers at 100 meters per second. Wow. That was brute, brute force. Oh, brute force, yeah. Brute power. So you came back to minimum uh, after burner, and uh, there was an onboard computer which sort of found the optimized altitude for you for the fuel that had been consumed, against the fuel that was consumed. So she leveled out on her own, I would say, or, and you go, got the indications. Around 19.7, 19.8, 20 20.1, somewhere there, around mm -hmm. 20 kilometers. And then she would, you now you kept minimum afterburner for the rest of the mission. Right, min burn. And as the fuel got consumed, she would fly. Uh, when you do your aerodynamics, you learn that little m is equal to one gives you the maximum range. Uh, she would fly to maintain little m equal to one to give you, and she would cruise climb sort of all the way. So you would typically start the mission around 20 and wind up at about 21.8, 22 kilometers of altitude. Mm -hmm. And the, the the cruise climb would be so gradual that it never affected the cameras. The rate of climb was so, was so gentle that it didn't affect your photography. And that was it. So you came up at about 22 kilometers by the time you decided to come get back. And now when you get back, you come back and you switch off the burners. And then you come to idle and you glide back home 350 kilometers of distance. <laughs> really? Throttles back to idle, wow. yes. Wow. So you're gliding, you're gliding throttles back at idle 350 kilometers to touchdown. 